Hello everyone, welcome to another video of slangs. This is going to be the 28th number video of slangs. And in this video again, we're going to learn a couple of more slangs, okay? So let's start this video. The first one here is, what do you think about plus verb ing or plus verb plus ing? What do you think about plus verb plus ing? This question asks someone, their opinion about a topic, okay? So simply you're asking, what do you think about something? For example, what do you think about hiking? What do you think about going out tonight? What do you think about having breakfast together? What do you think about watching movie together, okay? So like this, you're asking uh, their opinion about something. So let's look at uh, the examples to understand this in a better way, okay? Here, what do you think about having a cup of tea with me? What do you think about working overtime next week? Okay. What do you think about waiting in the line for tickets? In, in our country, normally people, they don't want to wait in the, in, in the line. Okay. Uh, what do you think about sailing? Okay. What do you think about staying here another night? What do you think about retiring from your job? What do you think about planting new trees in the backyard? What do you think about offering to babysit? Okay, uh, here question mark should be added because you're asking opinion of, uh, of, of someone, okay? Next one. Yes, if you don't know what is babysit, it means, uh, you know, offering to babysit means there are some people who are, especially the females, I guess, they take care of the, the, the young babies and normally parents, they hire them. So they are called the babysitters, okay? Next one. What do you think about living in a new city? Okay. What do you think about changing your phone? What do you think about going to bed early tonight? What do you think about having breakfast together? What do you think about watching movie at the cinema? What do you think about increasing your workload? Okay. So you can use this phrase quite often in your everyday speaking. You can ask someone's opinion by using this phrase. What do you think about something? What do you think about uh, cooking tonight? What do you think about hanging out together or tonight? Okay. What do you think about watching uh, theater today? Whatever. Okay. Next one. It's too bad that. It's too bad that. Too bad means regrettable or unfortunate when using it in a sentence you're expressing a concern or regret for what has taken place. The topic being discussed could have happened to you, the person you're talking to, or someone or something else. Okay, it's too bad that I could not attend the meeting. Okay, something that is some, some event that has happened and you are uh, feeling sorry for it or you are regretting uh, that thing, okay? It might have happened with you or someone you're talking to or someone or someone else, okay? Let's look at some examples to understand it in a better way. It's too bad that she lost her job. Now, this is the third person. It's too bad that she lost her job, okay? It's too bad that you have to go. Now, here you're talking to uh, someone and you're, uh, you're talking about him. Okay, that, uh, sorry, you're talking to him that it's too bad that you have to go. Okay, next one. It's too bad that I found out about it. Now here, something has happened with you, okay? You have found out about it, so that's why it, it is too bad. Okay, next one. It's too bad that we will not be there on time. It's too bad that tickets are all gone to that concert. It's too bad that it is supposed to rain. Well, today the weather is not good, so it is maybe uh, it is going to rain. So we can say that it's too bad that it is supposed to rain. Next one. It's too bad that she got hurt. It's too bad that my work has to be lay off people. Okay. Laying off people means firing people or decreasing the number of people. Okay. It's too bad that you do not understand. It's too bad that you were not there at that time. Okay. So you can use this phrase, it's too bad that, to explain a regret or something you are feeling sorry for. Again, it's a very useful one. You can use it in your daily life English conversation. 
okay and this is uh, sorry yes that's the end of this video i'll see you in the next video of science take care of yourselves keep learning well and keep watching these videos bye bye i'll see you in the next video of science